There would have been no Trump without an Obama because Obama, not that I agree with him on everything, but he represented a direct challenge to the, to the white status quo power. And in every move of history, there was always a reaction to that. I knew that when he came down that escalator, he was using the racist language. And I was amazed that the media didn't know how to call it what it was and how they played with it and how people did not understand it wasn't just rhetoric, it was a policy agenda. And we saw how powerful it could work. We saw how that, um, what gerrymandering could do, voter suppression could do, and then mixing that with fear and white rage and lies. It's a powerful poison. I knew that what Trump was doing was not new. That, that white Southern strategy started by Kevin Phillips and Richard Nixon was designed to last 50 years. It was designed to not talk, talk, talk with racist language, but to present policies that would have racist impact, dog whistle policies. This is the 50th year. We are in the middle of a third reconstruction. We're either gonna go real, real, real far backwards or people are gonna stand up and recognize that the reason we're being fought is not because we're weak, but because we're powerful.